Hi, I'm Thomas Rochelle, better known to the bass playing public uh, as Marlo DK from playbassnow.com and youtube.com Marlo DK. I'm here at Sandberg today to uh, finalize my the makings of my signature bass and uh, we've been we are going to see uh, how they they make the the body old and the the neck old and the, the picking guard old and see the whole process what it takes to to build a base and making it look like it's been around for 30 40 years so stay stick around and you'll learn some stuff <laughs> I got to know about Sandberg uh, during a uh, base day event in the city of Odense in Denmark uh, for a music store and they were having this base day event and uh, one of the employees a friend of mine, now Jesper, had bought his Sandberg bass. I mean, all the different participants in that uh, bass day brought their instruments to show to each other. And he bought his Sandberg bass, and it was this, uh, like I think it was a, it was a red bass with matching headstock, and in this really cool vintage look. And I found out that Sandberg really uh, are masters of making new instruments look like uh, instruments that have been around for 30, 30 uh, 40 years and that appeals to me because I love these uh, damaged old goods and uh, it, it sounded and played really great and then I found out they actually had the, the they were selling all the the bases for Sandberg and uh, I made a deal with them to try some of their, their stuff and uh, uh, I got a pink one because I thought it would be a, a good addition to my, uh, my stock of bass especially when making YouTube videos because a pink bass really uh, gets attention. <laughs> Now I've started to work with Sandberg and they are actually building the uh, signature base uh, here you can see and, and it's been through the aging process too and I'm very happy about this and they're, they're really good at making things look worn I like that and if it sounds good and plays well at the same time who could ask for more? <laughs> mm -hmm. 